Ready to turn your holly into a high performance monster? Follow along while we torture this one into submission. Most of the time you can't afford to buy yourself a race ready top end carburetor. So what's the next step? Modify your carburetor to act more like a race carburetor. That will cost you a lot of money. Modifications of this one will only take a lot of your time. And not only are we going to show you step by step how to do it, but I'm going to put it on my flow bench back there and show you how much flow each step gains. The first step I recommend you not do if this is a street car, you live in cold weather, where you need a choke because we're about to eliminate that choke. I've already done a flow test. I already know how much it flows before I ever started on it. Your vent tubes, you need to leave them there. Don't cut them off. One more thing that's very important, you need to write down that list number because you're just about to cut it off and I'll actually engrave it in here. Okay, now all I'm gonna do is just knock off the very roughest burrs and then we'll full test it again. Test number two, air horn removed. Well, that was interesting. Now we're gonna do a little cleanup and prepping of this and make this a lot more pretty and then do another test. Time for test number three. That test was a little bit surprising. So, now all we can do to improve the airflow here. I don't think that's the restriction anymore. Our next step is getting some more air through these butterflies. Uh, you can see, ground that shock down, just to ground them screws down. If you're going to do this, your first one you probably should start at the screw and grind to the screw and not grind into the screw because they're staked in there and that falls out and goes into your engine, you're going to be very unhappy. Test number four, grinding the butterfly throttle shaft. A lot of metal removed. I think it was worth it. I think it ganged. We've got to get into the nitty gritty. And that's getting down in here and taking any imperfections out. Which this one really isn't too bad. Alright, this last step, I don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera. But I had to take the throttle plate off. But if you look right down there, I don't know how well you can see it. But you can see I'm hitting it. All right, final test. I don't know if you can see there. Just barely cleaned up some sharp edges. All right, here we go. Final test. 